friends, today we would be extracting casein and lactose from milk. Milk is a complex colloidal suspension containing a lot of substances like fat, casein, whey protein, lactose, minerals and other substances. In this process of extraction of casein and lactose, we would be using milk, hydrochloric acid, calcium carbonate, charcoal and methanol. These are the principles that are used in extraction of lactose and casein in this video. You can pause this page and read about it. Let us begin by taking 100 ml of milk. Here I have taken skimmed milk, that is the milk free from fat. If you have the whole milk, you can separate the fat by heating it for some time so that the fat will get separated. Now we add one normal hydrochloric acid. Add the acid slowly and after each addition, I mix the contents thoroughly. That is because the acid reacts with the top layer of milk and the casein get precipitated out. This will prevent the further entry of acid into the bottom layers. To prevent that, I am mixing the contents after addition of acid each time. The principle behind this precipitation is that Casein being negatively charged is present as a colloid in the milk. That means we cannot separate it out. When we add the acid, the charges get neutralized thereby precipitating the casein. You can see the casein as a thick white precipitate. After adding the whole of the acid, that is about 10 milliliters of one normal hydrochloric acid, now the whole casein has been precipitated out. Now we filter this solution and take out the casein and the clear filtrate of whey is obtained. The whey is the transparent pale yellow colored solution obtained after removing casein from the milk. After complete filtration now, we will neutralize the excess amount of acid present in it by adding approximately 4 grams that is 1 to 2 scoop of calcium carbonate. We are doing that because if any residual acid is present in the next step of heating it can decompose lactose. After neutralizing the solution, we will now heat the solution to boil the contents. On heating, the whey proteins will get coagulated and precipitates out. Now, on filtering this, the excess unreacted calcium carbonate and the whey proteins can be filtered out. The whey proteins are albumin and lactoglobulin. Now, we have cleared the solution of all the important proteins. After filtering, we will heat the solution to reduce the contents to less than one fourth and into that solution we are adding approximately two scopes of activated charcoal to decolorize the solution. We keep this solution for half an hour. After about 30 minutes, we will now add 100 milliliters of methanol or you can use ethanol. The principle is that lactose is soluble in these alcohols. So after adding the alcohol, we can mix the contents thoroughly so that lactose will get dissolved in the alcohol. Then we will filter this out. After thorough mixing, we will now filter this solution containing the alcohol. After filtering this out, we will evaporate the solution in direct sunlight. That completes our extraction process and these are our final results. This is the sun-dried casein protein after 3 days. I have obtained approximately 25 grams of casein. This is the lactose which got crystallized out on evaporating that alcoholic solution and I got approximately 10 grams of lactose. These videos are created and edited with much effort. If you can support me financially, you can do that via Patreon or PayPal. The links are in the description. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. If you allowed the content of this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button.